So Obama's in Turkey, and he's going to go ahead and give a speech there, and it is fairly well received. Uh, the numbers for support of America and support of our president go skyrocketing up. Uh, Bush had brought him all the way down to 12 percent. Obama brought him back up to two different polls, 52 percent, 60 percent. These are good numbers, right? Um, but one Turkish anchor decided that he was going to, well, paint this in a different light. Let's put it that way. And he decided that he would go on in blackface and talk about uh, Obama's visit and what it should, you know, what its uh, significance is for the Turkish people and what he would like from uh, President Obama. Now, we're going to show you this clip, and then I'm going to translate for you guys what he says, because I speak Turkish. And I think what he says is almost as embarrassing as how he looks. So here is, unfortunately, Turkish television. Hoş geldiniz Mr. Obama. Siz bugün Ankara'da yaptığınız görüşmelerdeki tavrınız, samimiyetiniz ve yüzünüze yansıttığınız iyi niyetinizle gönlümüzü fethettiniz. Ancak yine de kime endişelerimiz var. Amerika bizden hep ister, istediğini de alır. Ama bizim de şimdi Alright, that doesn't mean anything to you guys, right? This guy is just talking gibberish. Uh, uh, şu anki halde. Some are saying that that dude looks like me. I don't know, do you see that? I'm not sure I see that, right? Okay, now to turn it up for a second. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Uh, you know, negro or blacky. <laughs> All right, so now let me tell you what he's saying. There's a Turkish saying that one who asks for a favor has a dark face, but the one who does not grant him that favor is actually a black guy, <laughs> which is a disastrously racist saying. Okay, now it, it can be said one of two ways. He's either a black guy or an Arab. So I'm not sure which one makes that better or worse. I think they're about the same in how uh, unacceptable they are. But he says, no, 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 look, I don't mean it necessarily that way. And when they translate it to you, they might write that I said has, uh, you know, the face of a Negro or a blackie. <laughs> and I'm like, it's like, please, dude, stop talking. Stop talking, okay, and get that stuff off your face. Uh, but he says, no, I mean it that you're, if you do not ex, you know, grant us these favors, that your face will be even blacker. I'm like, that's still not helping at all. I think that's going to hurt the situation a little bit more, okay. And this dude went and painted his face before he gave this little spiel. Oh, God. But, you know, that's the thing about foreigners. They don't, look, and it's understandable. They don't understand our culture because they didn't grow up in our culture. So the Spanish team during the Olympics does the thing with their eyes, you know. Uh, they think that that's somehow going to be, like, cool to the Chinese. Like, oh, look, they're doing the slant eyes. Oh, that's awesome. And they just, they don't get it, right? Um, now, uh, he, uh, so what does he ask for, by the way? He's asking, look, you need to... Uh, help us out on a couple of the fronts because Turkey always helps America. Now, that part of it is true, okay? If he had made the point in a different way, it, it would have been true, except nobody would have been paying attention. So I hear that uh, part of it too. But he says, look, in, in Turkey, this is a very popular th thought, which is all we ever do is give, give, give. We give to Europe, we give to America. Whenever America asks us to do anything, we say yes. And then what do we ever get in return? Not a damn thing. Right? We don't get accepted into the European Union, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Right? Uh, and then every once in a while, America insults us with bills on the Armenian genocide. That is their perception. Right? And so he is putting that perception forward. Um, and that is part of the reason why Turkey did not vote yes on the letting U.S. troops go uh, through Turkey t for the Iraq war. Because they were like, enough is enough. You know, this doesn't make any sense, and we never get anything in return, and it's fairly true. Uh, so then he asked for help with the PKK, the Kurdish terrorist group, which I think America helps a decent amount with that as far as, you know, I read up on it. And he said, you know, please don't insult us with calling the Armenian situation a genocide. That's not going to happen. And Obama said while he was there, hey, uh, look, uh, I'm uh, going to stick with my original position. And his original position uh, during the campaign was that it was a genocide. And then he said, uh, on the economic front, we're not looking for a handout. 
the anchor said, what we're looking for is cooperation, so that if we help, that you help. Uh, I, I, in bottom line, I think he would have been ser better served making that point a different way. If he's trying to reach the American audience, if he's just trying to have fun in the Turkish audience and increase ratings, I'm sure that probably worked, right? But in terms of us feeling better about him, I don't know. I'm not sure he's making the leap over here to become a talk show host in the, in the U.S. That doesn't really fly over here, but they don't quite get our sensibilities.